Last time on The Path of Precision, we took a look through the different varieties and timing of our spraying passes. We spoke to the need for the three types of sprays, herbicides, fungicides, and insecticides. We also gave coverage as to when and why we need each pass to optimize their utility at four specific times in the field life of our corn crop. And these four passes are the final roads paved on the path to bring our corn crop to fruition. All roads lead to this. Harvest. Here we are. The final pass our corn will have in our fields, and it all begins with the equipment. But before we get there, let's review. We begin our year by preparing our fields. We apply nitrogen to enrich our soil. Then we cultivate our ground by turning over our soil to create a workable surface. We then turn that renewed surface into a field by planting our female corn. That corn then underwent our first pre-emergent residual herbicide spray. Then we added to our fields by planting our male rows of corn. Then the field receives a post-emergent residual herbicide spray. Then after some time of growth, our female rows are cut in order to begin the pollination control process. Once the females grow their tassels, we then pull them from the females to prevent them from pollinating. Once the males have released their pollen and begin the hybridization process with the female rows, we come through and destroy the males. We then add a protective insecticide to our fields, followed shortly by a fungicide protectant. And now we have curated a full, strong, and fruitful field that is ready for harvest. So, as we mentioned, the harvest season all starts with the equipment, and in our case, the first thing we go to is a moisture tester. When we are making our final decisions on starting harvest, we want to make sure our corn reads at a certain moisture level. To take these readings, we go to each field to take multiple samples of the moisture level to get an average of the entire field. We utilize this average to tell us when we can begin to harvest the corn in the field. Once we begin to see moisture of the field fall below 40%, we'll begin to plan and mobilize our fleet to begin harvesting. Now, the second pieces of equipment that we go to for harvest are our pickers. There are two types of machinery that can be utilized for corn harvesting. The first is a combine, a type of harvester that combines cutting, threshing, and winnowing into one machine. This machine allows you to leave the field with corn that has been fully removed from the cob. The other option is the picker. This machine, typically used for sweet corn, simply removes the ear of corn from the stalk. Where a combine would cut the stalk, remove the stalk and husk, and separate the corn from the cob, the picker leaves a far more intact ear of corn to be processed at a later time. For our system, we utilize the picker. This allows us to be far more in control over the final stages of our seed corn as it makes its way through our processing. So, in order to take our corn from the field to our facility, we mobilize our pickers to begin the harvesting of our corn. They make their paths up and down the rows with a dump cart by their side. These carts are there to receive the corn directly from the pickers as they move along the rows. Once the cart is full, it will leave the picker's side and make its way to the end row to unload into one of our semis. Once this trailer is filled, it will make its way back to our facility where it will offload the corn into our green sort. And this is where our corn ends its time with the field. From here, our corn will go through an intense multi-level process that will take it from a husk-covered ear of corn to being a unit of fully optimized potential. And there it is, the reason we focus on the term optimal. We've taken the time, energy, and resources necessary to bring these seeds to their highest possible potential. But here's where we overlap ourselves a little bit. 
the year's not over and it's time to think of a new crop. So, as we bring in our yield from one year, we look to the potential for another. So join us on our next episode as we talk about field closing. The next episode of The Path of Precision will be out Tuesday, October 11th at 9 a.m.